Did you know that up to 13,000 WordPress sites are hacked every single day? Did you also know that those hacks could have been prevented with just a teeny tiny bit of effort? It's true. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to stop upwards of 70% of hack attempts on your website with just a few clicks and just a few minutes of work. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and let's get started. The number one way hackers get into websites is through plugins on your WordPress site. WordFence is a hugely popular and very useful plugin to help protect your site from hackers. And the survey they did a few years back shows that plugins are the number one way. Over 50% of site hacks are the result of plugins, according to WordFence's survey work. Next up is Brute Force, which is where they try to guess your password. Next up is WordPress core updates. So when you get an update like WordPress, what have you, on this site here, we got a WordPress 6.5 update available. Not doing that update leads to security vulnerabilities. That's the next, the third most frequent hack. And then themes are the fourth most frequent hack. So you can really easily take care of the theme, core, and plugin vulnerabilities by doing your updates regularly. Most of these plugin hacks are not because the plugin developer is compromised or trying to hack your site. It's because you have plugins on your site like I currently have plugins on my site and there are 22 that need updating. And that's where the hacks happen. There's security vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities that are found by the developer. They patch them. They need to update your plugin to get that patch. And if you don't patch it, hackers are gonna use their automated bots to find websites that have outdated plugins so they can hack your site really easily. So the best thing you can do is update your site your plugins, your themes, and your WordPress core files on a regular basis. It's hard though, because there's updates all the time. So you gotta be in your site pretty frequently unless you hire someone to do that work for you. And in fact, my team does that for a lot of people. We make sure your site's maintained and running optimally, and we make sure all the updates are done when plugin updates and theme updates and core file updates happen. If you want help with that, let me know. Email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and just ask about the, the maintenance package that I offer with my team, and I'll tell you all about it. But my point is, these things need to be done on a regular basis, these updates. And before you update, you also wanna back up your site because if something goes wrong with the update, you wanna be able to revert back to a previous version. I've got WP Vivid Backup Pro installed here. If you have a host like SiteGround, you can go into your website. We're in WP Learning Lab here inside the SiteGround. And if I go to security, I can go to backups and I can create a new backup. Just put a name in here. I'd put something like before plugin updates and add a date. Click on create and do a full, full backup of your website that you can revert back to if there's any problems. I'm going to choose a WP Vivid method here. I have a full walkthrough of this plugin as well because some hosts don't have that backup functionality or you pay extra for it. If you want to check that out, I'll link to that in the card above and the description down below. And all we do is install it, activate it, go to WP Vivid backup, backup and migration, I'll take you to this page here. And we just fill out this short form here. I'm gonna say this to localhost, that's what the free version will allow you to do as well. I believe going to remote storage is the pro version, but I could be wrong. But remote storage allows you to save the backup to um, Google Drive, pCloud, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon S3, Digital Ocean Spaces, FTP, SFTP, and Wasabi. Those are your backup options for the remote storage. I'll stay with local. That's going to put it on the same server as my website. You got to make sure you have enough space for that, but most hosting accounts do, especially if it's only a temporary backup that you then delete after you've done your updates and found that your website works just fine. I'm going to choose database and files so it backs up absolutely everything because you never know what's going to go wrong. You can put a comment for the backup in here. I'm just going to enter... Before plugin updates, April 3, 2024. I can't add underscores, so it's hard to read. Kind of dashes. No, no dashes, no underscores allowed. Only letters and numbers. This is just for your own reference as well. So you don't have to enter anything, but I'm going to. And I'm going to mark this backup as being only able to delete it manually because I want to make sure there's no accidents. Somebody doesn't stroll in here and delete my backup. I don't know how many people you have in the back end of your website, but you never know what's going on. So I'm going to mark this as being delete manually only. Click on backup now. And now it's going to backup. This is the, the progress bar up here. Depending on how big your site is, it could take some time. My site has been around a long time. It's got a lot of pictures. So this is usually 
at least a few minutes to do this. And while we're waiting, you can go ahead and hit the like button if you find this video valuable. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be great too. You'll be notified whenever I publish new videos. And this is taking even longer than that little spiel. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back just as soon as this is finished. Our backhouse complete. That took longer than I thought it would. Uh, it shows here, it finished it, or it started at 1020. Sorry, it's now 1039, so almost 20 minutes. It failed a few times, but then it automatically retried. And that happens with larger file sizes. So anyway, there it is. And earlier you probably saw up here a message saying that the last backup was a long time ago. That's because that was the last local backup. And I usually do remote backups to, to save the file space on my server. Remote is usually the best way to go. Anyhow, now we have a backup right here. If something goes wrong, we can click this button and it restores the backup and restores the site to its current state right now. And now we can go and update our plugins. There's only 20 updates now and there's 22 earlier. I don't know why that is. Some auto updated or something, I don't even know. Lots of updates to do here and we have theme updates and we have a WordPress core update. So where I usually go is into the dashboard link here and then to updates and it shows all your updates all on one page. And what WP Vivid also does at this point, if you check this box, it's going to make a backup of the plugin, theme, and core files that are being updated. So of this, back to 22 now, of this list of 22 plugins, the 22 that are being updated, those are going to be backed up as well. You can restore those. It's an extra precaution. You don't have to check this box if you don't want to because you have a full backup for your website. So I'm just going to uncheck this. It'll make the process a little bit faster. And I'm going to select this box here, update all the plugins. I usually find that I just do it in random orders. I update all the plugins or I'll update the theme first or the core files first. It doesn't really matter in my opinion. This as long as you do them all. Because if you have everything up to date, then everything should be running and everything should be up to date and working. Whereas if you do a piecemeal, you update plugins now, core files later down the road, then you could run into problems. You want to do all the updates at the same time if you can. So let's pause this video as these updates are happening. Should be seeing something on this page. Oh, there we go. They're done already, actually. Usually it shows on the page as they're happening, but I just did those secretly, not on the page. Let's go back to updates. And now those plugins are updated. There's a good chance that as we're updating the theme and the core files, new plugin updates will become available as well, which is just something that happens. Updates are incremental sometimes. Going to select all these, update all those. The Buddy Boss theme might not be updatable because I canceled that subscription because I'm redesigning the website. It's a work in progress, but it updated anyway. Oh, surprising. Okay, so those are updated. Come back here. The last thing we have now is the WordPress core files. Let's check this again. Click update to version 6.5 or whatever version number it happens to be on your website when you're updating. And we're done. There's the 6.5 information, and we're all up that updated. Plugin updates, it shows a zero right now. It shouldn't show anything if they're all up to date. So there must be something coming down the pipe, something has to be updated. Action required. Anyhow, looks like there's no updates for the plugins right now. But if there are, you want to update them right away. And it could be a pain because you got to stay on top of it. Like I said earlier, my team can do that for you. Just email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and ask about our maintenance package, and I'll tell you all about it. And if you followed along in this short video and updated your site as well, you have now stopped almost 70% of hack attempts on your website. You've taken out the plugin access, which is 55% or even 57%. Core, which is like 8%, theme, which is like 5%, you add those all up, you're at nearly 70%. And those are 70% of hack attempts that are now not going to get into your website. And that's awesome. And it's pretty straightforward. If you have time to do it, you got to do it on a consistent basis. As soon as plugins come available or updates come available, or on a weekly basis even, you got to make sure you're updating everything. And if you want my team to do it for you, just email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and I'll let you know how our maintenance package works and keep your site safe and secure because it's a real pain to clean up a hacked site. It's much better to stop your site from being hacked in the first place. Next up, check out this video right here, which is the next video in the series of securing your WordPress site. 
And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.